Hello and welcome. I'm 25th of April 2020. I am on my way back to Shalgo Tarian from Budapest after a day of shopping. I picked up this is my quadcopter, the Mavits 2 Zoom with smart controller. I got a GoPro backpack and a bunch of other goodies as an early birthday present to myself. Um, let's see, the wind was fantastic today, so my hair and my eyes might be quite red because of the dust blowing in the air, but it was nice, weather was great, did a long walk, same old, same old. Um, I noticed tons of masks, which I'm against because I counted the people wearing them improperly and 90% just wear them over their mouth or around their neck, take them off when they're smoking, so it's a waste. They should ban it instead of the EU making everyone wear them. Just ban them so the medical workers can have them. They know how to wear them and they're the highest risk. But there's that. There was, um, what else? Uh, shoot. I don't know. There's something else I didn't like. Oh, all the shops being closed. I couldn't find a toilet. That was the worst thing. I had to go out of my way to a mall to go to the bathroom. Which, I know, there are people in much worse situations, but I can't take 8 billion people's considerations in. Mine, personally, are the most important, and when I have to go to the bathroom, I have to go to the bathroom. So, that's my biggest complaint. Not a big one. Just, that's how I'm suffering through the curfew or closures, whatever you want to call it, through COVID. Uh, what else? Uh, yesterday, I was chatting online with a friend that lives in Germany, and he said that the virus came from a laboratory in China, and I asked for the evidence, the uh, news article. He sent it to me, and it was uh, supposedly the guy who discovered AIDS. It's his opinion. There is no evidence presented. And I told my friend this, and he agreed, said it was just an opinion, but that he believes that the virus originated from a laboratory in China. And this is the problem. I don't know if it's been this way through all the history, but that once people form an opinion, it is impossible to change their minds. He, he knew there was no evidence, but he still believed it. And when there's no evidence, you should go with the easiest, most likely option. And most likely, this is just a virus from nature, like SARS, like MERS, that's just going through the public, going through humans. But instead, he believes it's from a laboratory, and he says in a few years, he will probably be proven right. But why not just take the simple explanation that it's natural and then in a few years when it is if it is proven to be a Chinese virus then go that route why go that route immediately I don't understand that but it's human nature and that's the way life is said so, uh, the politics are still the same you know can't doesn't seem to change. Nobody changes. It doesn't matter how much evidence you have, either way, nothing changes. Wow, the contrast is extreme. So I'll just go with that this way. Um, that's it. Have another hour and a half ish back to home. Tomorrow I'll make a video opening up my quadcopter and carry on still no word when i'm going to go back to work or when countries are going to open up hungary's borders are still closed etc etc